This is fresh. Beaver fell this whole tree down. Look at all the fresh chippings. Uh, thought I'd show you that. I'm out. It's snow on the ground. It's freezing. But it's just a little too wet to go to the dump. So I thought I'd come out and walk some places. Maybe do some sift. And I got on rubber gloves. If I stay active, I can stay warm. I found two or three points here. I thought I'd pull in and look. I haven't found much for a while. Find some flakes every time, but I found some real nice points in here, but not for a year. See right there, flake of Kushokton. I find a lot of it in here. I'll get back if I see anything. I saw a broken insulator up farther, but there's a big pickaxe. Look at that. That's kind of cool. I'm going to take that. That's an old pickaxe. And it's it can be cleaned up. That's a nice find. Honestly, that's old. There's some real old glass in here. I saw a piece out of like an 1860s whiskey bottle. Just a shard of it. But we'll carry that out for sure. Later. See, there's glass and stuff coming out here. I see maybe a fired musket ball down there. That's why I turned this on. But that's a piece of an old bottle. I saw a cork one up there farther. But look here, I saw the white. I think that is a fired musket ball. It's flattened. It is. You can get it. See, it's, it's impacted something. I got that big pick and now this. I saw a breaking insulator up there too. I'll show it to you. It would have been beautiful. It's real deep green. Would have been a heck of a find, but it's busted. I'll show you that, and then I'm going to get out of here. That pick's a nice find. That'll clean up. That's old. There's real old glass in here. Up to the 40s. 30s or 40s, there's glass too. But I've seen some shards in here that are like 1860s bottles up into the 1890s. Lots of shards. That's why I came here. Look. Here's this insulator I was telling you about. It's real emerald green. I have one like it. But that's not broke, but that's a shame. That's a real shame. I just wanted to show you. I'm getting out of here now. If I see anything else walking out, I'll let you know. All right. I walked several miles of shoreline today. This is all I found. Some flakes of flint, this, the musket ball. That's it. Um, that's the way it goes sometimes. But I'm pretty proud of this. I try to, you know, if I'm going to film something, it's going to be something I'm proud of. And I can put that in an electrolysis machine, put a new handle on it stain it maybe wood burn it put minor 49er on it or something it'll make it a you know a 75 dollar item it's old it's real old it'll look awesome cleaned up and restored so we got something cool usually these have one of the tines broke off but this one don't man cool find later all right i'm up here in the woods it's real you can see snowy wet um, I'm just going to try for a few things um, and I'll get back. I'm going to get down in there where I find that big mason jar and rake around. The stuff wasn't that deep. I'll get back if I find anything later. Now there's a hemming ray number nine. Just raked it out right here. I was up in there. Come down here on this side. Patented May 2nd, 1893. That's a nice insulator. Man, wasn't expecting that. I was just expecting to get a couple finds. The ground's muddy. I'm just kind of looking around, opening up holes all over the place. I moved that tire, moved some concrete. I'm going to look in there. But I got a find, and that's worth taking for sure later. See, I was right up in there. You know, I've been digging down there. There's got to be stuff all the way from the top of the hill all the way down to where the trash ends. There's a J.R. Watkins company. It's screw cap, but it's perfect. It's worth a dollar or two. 
We'll take that. You can see there's big bottles coming out of here and look at this rust layer. There's a nice layer here and it's loose. Could be a crock laying right in here on the side of this hill someplace. There was a broken pile hat one right there where my yellow handled shovel's at right in there. But take my glove off on this one. I just got an awesome marble. This is a nice layer. You know, for the conditions I'm finding stuff, I got an insulator up there already, but now I just got an awesome marble. Look at this, you see it? It's right here, it looks awesome. Let me wipe it here. Oh man, look at this. It's some kind of green, like slag, hold on. Yeah, it's a green, green slag swirl. You can see it's translucent here, and it's got that white swirl all to it. That's pretty nice. Later. This is a nice kook. I just raked, I moved from right over there to right over here and there's bottles sticking out of the hole. But this just says U.S. Patent Office. It don't have D-pad on it. And it's an odd bottom. I wonder, what, let me see what the date is on this. If I can find it. And I'll show you if I can. Later. 1251. That's kind of an odd one with that script like that, huh? Nice condition. There's a big whiskey flask. It's probably going to be one that's unembossed, but it's a big brown one. Um, I'll get it out of there. Hold on. Yeah, it's a big slick cork top whiskey. It's got an older base on it. It's real pretty brown glass, but you know. Not, not the greatest. I'll see what else I can get. Well, I'll move further down the hill. Finding older stuff down here. And look at that cobalt blue cork top. Yeah, let me wipe this. It's a cork top bottle and it's blown and it's blue glass. Oh, too bad that's break. It's got a decent bottle. It's a really unique shape and it's embossed. Look at it. It's one, two, three, four six-sided i'll have to get it cleaned off here it's horrible muddy it's been raining on me i'm gonna try to find a few more things but i got through this clay cap and i raked it right off there's a nice rust layer in here and all of this big pile is what's come from down up there it's all up the hill it's up to 40s trash mixed in with old stuff there's crocs i found a piece of a crock here let's see i'm gonna take this here's some of the things i found I'll show you that in a second, but look at this milk. It's a ribbed one. Has a little slug plate up there. It says sealed. Um, it would have been awesome. There's an old skeleton key brass piece off a door. The door handle would have come out there. There's a cork bottle. Um, that's about it. But look at this gas fixture. It's got, it's real worn eight. Even the fitting up there. It can all be cleaned up. There's like flowers on it and it's heart shaped we're gonna take that but let me wipe this bottle off you can see it's all embossed right there it says jude something pepto something hold on it says good g-u-d-e apostrophe s pepto mangan m-a-n-g-a-n i've never seen that bottle and we'll have to take that that's a nice find way down over the hill now there's pieces of salt glazed crocs coming out but i just got a real nice marble it looks like it looks like some kind of swirl so let me wipe it off it is it looks like it's going to fluoresce too under a black light it's got that yellow glass look to it and it's got a white swirl to it that's awesome hold on wow that's pretty awesome it looks like it's going to fluoresce. You can even see it. It's dark out here almost. Look at the snow over there across the valley. Right in there on them hilltops. It's raining on me kind of. I shouldn't even be out here, but I got to get clips of any one dude. It's got bubbles in it. It's a nice condition. That looks like it's going to... Look at that glowing. That's a nice marble. Man, that was worth coming out for. And I got that one like six panel bottle too. So I got some clips even in horrible conditions. And I'm lucky to even see that marble as muddy as it is. They get clumped in them balls. But I'm going to look around a few more minutes and then I just got to go. My feet are getting cold. My boots are... I just got mud all over me. Alright, I'm back to my parents' house. Here's this, like... It's like a Vaseline glass swirl. It's awesome. Look at it there. And I mean, it lights up more than any marble I've ever seen. 
I'll get back to you in the dark room here in just a second. In a d dark hallway on some steps. Now watch this. Oh man, figs, look at this thing fluoresce. That's insane. It's like a uranium glass swirled marble. That is just in. Look at that. Glaze up like man, it glaze. I'm glad I could show you this later. All right, I'm gonna have to get out of here. It's just too muddy. I've been here for hours, but I got a few fawns, even in these conditions. Um, I got that lid there. It's off a of blue ball mason, like one of the ones that take the glass lids. That's all I found since that marble. Um, we'll get him and see if that marble fluoresces under a black light. And I'll get back then with the next clip later. Thought I'd show you this real quick. Look at all these bottles. Jeez, I gotta get them cleaned up. But right here is another Alex Martin Dry Goods Hannibal High Crock, but you can see it's all exploded. I keep all this stuff. Here's another something and company, Druggists, Wheeling, West Virginia. But dude, that's a stinking shame. You can see it there. I got most of it. Part of the rim, but there's big pieces missing. That's a shame. Look at how nice the blue lettering is. But um, that'll be it on this one. I'm going to give in and relax. Later. Later.